It's go time. Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner, here for another Ginger Runner review. It has been quite a while, so for that, I apologize, but I have been up to some review and some testing, and I've got some gear to review today. We also have a lot coming up. I know it's the month of December. It's the holiday month, but not only do we have Ginger Mist coming up, got my Gear of the Year video coming up. Get excited. It's going to be a fun couple of weeks. Today, right now, I think it's about time we start talking about this. A year ago, I reviewed Ultra's new trail running shoe, the Temp, which fit right between the Lone Peak and the Olympus in their trail lineup. I'm glad to say that they have a new version. This, my friends, is the Ultra Temp 1.5. Just the Temp 1.5. Okay, if you go back and watch that review of the Temp, uh, you'll see that I didn't really enjoy the shoe too much. It was a bit of a miss, a bit of a letdown, and I'll, I'll say it, I don't think those shoes even exist in this house anymore. I was really bummed out because I was so excited about how that shoe fit in their lineup. Cushioning, foot shape, good grip, uh, the perfect ultra shoe. So now a year later, Ultra's coming out with the 1.5 version. And there is a lot that's different. An entirely new upper, new materials, new overlays, new lacing system, supposedly softer cushioning and more flex throughout the midsole, an adjusted heel for better fit and a more precise fit throughout the foot, and even a new max track outsole to give you tons of grip and adverse conditions. So yeah, it's basically an entirely new shoe designed from the ground up. Does that mean that the Temp 1.5 is better than the first version. I am happy to report that yes, it does. The shoe is not without its quirks, but overall, I've been really happy with it. In this review, we're going to talk all about the things that I like and dislike about the Ultra Temp 1.5, starting, as always, with the things that I like. Fit. This is something that plagued me in the first version. I could not get the lacing system right. My foot felt floppy in there. Anytime you're running a technical trail, it was downright dangerous. I just had so many problems with the fit of the first version of the Temp. Happy to report the new change in the lacing system, the new upper all combined to allow this shoe to fit a lot better. It's not perfect, but it is improved. Cushion. So this is something that bugs me in a lot of Ultra shoes. The A-bound material that they use in a lot of the midsoles just tends to flatten out prematurely. There's a huge loss in cushioning and overall comfort in these shoes after one, two, or three runs for me. Despite the Temp 1.5 using the A-bound material, it's holding up actually pretty well. In fact, the midsole in this shoe feels like what I anticipated the Lone Peak 4.0 midsole feeling like. It does flatten out prematurely, but there's still a lot of life left in that midsole. So if you're already used to the Lone Peak, think you're gonna like this a little bit more. So yeah, that's a huge improvement over version one because I felt that midsole just flattened out almost on the first run. Durability. I'm happy with the durability of this shoe. Version one was kind of all over the board. I was getting all sorts of fraying and things like that pretty early on. This one's holding up quite well. The upper material is super sturdy. The outsole, of course, has minimal wear. I think that's that new Max Track outsole that they're using. As I mentioned, the midsole is flattening out a little bit, but there is still cushioning bounce and softness underfoot, which is good. Not as much as the shoe has right out of the box. That went away quite quickly, quite quickly. But I'm happy where the shoe is at now. It's a nice, fine balance, giving me plenty of durability all around. But as I mentioned, it's not all bratwursts and barbecues. <laughs> Even I don't know. There are a couple of quirks that I dislike. Slippery. The new Max Track outsole is durable, and I get why they want to put it on their shoes to make sure that you get these lugs lasting a lifetime, but it's a slippery material. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we got rocks, roots, logs, mud, everything. Many of those surfaces I do not feel secure on with this outsole. When you're not relying on just the lugs to grab the grip, but the actual outsole material to grip the surface, that surface is wet, you could run into some serious issues. I did, and it sucked to not have that confidence in the outsole. If you're running in drier conditions, you're going to love it. Fit. Yes. The fit of the Temp 1.5 is vastly improved over the first version, but I will say it is still not without its problems. Despite an improved heel fit, we're still getting a lot of volume through that midfoot, so when you have to lock those laces down, having an asymmetrical lacing system in general causes you to lose a bit of that additional real estate you need to bring the two medial and lateral sides of that upper together for good midfoot fit. You can see how closely I'm having to lace those two sides together, and this is with its fully laced where my foot can just slide in and out. So when these shoes are in run mode, that lacing is even tighter, and there's not much room to get it any tighter than that. So this is more of a universal issue with ultra shoes, it's going to take you putting the shoes on, getting your feet in them, testing them, trying them, making sure that you have the right size. It's improved. It's not perfect, which contributes to the other problem of just lacing. We have five eyelets on either side. I think we need six. I would really like to have an additional eyelet hole just so I can get that good ankle lock lacing system in place. Because right now I am just not getting that foot in that shoe quite tight enough. I personally can't size down in this shoe because then my toes begin to rub up against the toe box. I will say again that the lacing is improved. A big problem with the first version, there was no ability to tighten laces down here towards the toe box, which unfortunately meant that all the volume in the toe box was unadjustable. 
this is improved. It's not perfect. And finally, the tail rudder. I've had this love-hate relationship, mostly hate, with the tail rudder on a lot of ultra trail shoes. It gets in the way, especially with bigger shoes, when going down stairs, steps, technical trails. I catch it often. It does nothing for me. I know Ultra watches these videos, so I will continue to point it out. Like, guys and gals, I... Get rid of it quite quickly. Again, more of a universal problem. So uh, really the, my dislikes with the Temp 1.5 are not huge. They're not deal breakers. It's been one of the more fun trail shoes that I've had the privilege of running in the last few months. So my overall take on it is if you tried the first version and didn't like it as much, I didn't. I encourage you to try version 1.5 because it is an improvement and it could really work well for you. If you did like the first version, I think you'll really like the 1.5. So that's where I'm at on that. So in conclusion, let's see where we are on the whole spectrum of things. As far as quality, it is improved quality over the first version, the upper, the midsole. I think the outsole is a little problematic, but overall the materials that they're using and the build quality, durable, it's good. Comfort, big improvement over the first version. Uh, the midsole alone, I ran through the midsole on that first version so quickly. It was after first run, I noticed that thing just dead. Getting a lot more life out of this. As I mentioned, it does feel a lot like a lone peak of yesteryear, which is not a bad thing. So it's good. Fit, also improved over the previous version. While we're not able to get a perfectly precise fit in this shoe, it is a lot better than version one. I mentioned most of the problem areas. I do like seeing Ultra step away from that skater shoe ankle fit. It's getting there. Price, $130. I think that's pretty much standard for these types of shoes. Uh, it's the same price point that the Ultra Temp 1 was at. It's fine. I would like to see it closer to $100, $110, especially with how that midsole lasts or doesn't. And finally, looks. Um, this isn't the best color version. There are four color versions in the men's style and also multiple in the women's styles. They're not bad. They're actually pretty good looking. So I'll give them a little bit of a uh, on looks. Bringing all of our thoughts to one final question. Is the Ultra Temp 1.5 a buy, try, or a why? I will give the Temp 1.5 a solid try, if not buy. This is what I wanted the original Temp to be. I'm glad that it's here. It has its quirks. They're not terrible. The first version was so polar in how people responded to it. I know people that ran hard rock with those shoes right out of the box. I also know people that took them right back to the store right out of the box. So polar opposites on that shoe. This shoe will be a lot closer in debate. People who loved the first version will love this. People who didn't might. And that is where I'm going to leave this review and ask you, have you tried the Temp 1.5 or did you try the first version? Are you excited about this? Is this one scary to you? In the comments of this video, let me know what you think on the Ultra Temp 1.5. So that is it for this review. Thanks everyone for tuning in and watching. If you liked it, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash the ginger runner. And of course, uh, social media links. There's a number of them. Patreon.com slash the ginger runner is how this channel stays alive. So I encourage you to check it out if you have not already. Some fun perks and all that good stuff. I hope that you are getting ready for Ginger Miss, which is occurring on December 15th and 16th, 2018. There will be a video on this channel. There will be more announcements on social media. So make sure you follow across the platform so you can participate. It will be free. It is fun. It is a chance for us to give back thousands of dollars worth of prizes. It is going to be a lot of fun. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I apologize. Just stay tuned. Thanks, everybody. Now get out there, train hard, race harder, and party the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye-bye.